Hi, this is Brad Linder, and this is an HP touchpad, and it's running Google Android, and it's running Cyanogen Mod 10, which is based on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. This is a very early build as of the beginning of August. A uh, developer named Jay Scullins has ported it, and it's got the basic features. You've got a very smooth user interface, everything sort of uh, works pretty nicely on the main screen, thanks to something called uh, Google's uh, Project Butter, which improves the uh, the graphics and response, but a lot of the uh, functions aren't really working yet. So for instance, there's no hardware video acceleration or 3D graphics acceleration. Audio doesn't work, the microphone doesn't work, the camera doesn't work. If you've been running Android, earlier versions of Android on the HP touchpad, you won't be surprised by the camera not working. It's uh, It's been sort of a long battle to get that up and running. But a lot of other things do work. So let's take a quick look at what you can do with Android 4.0. One, you can see that the uh, web browsers, web browsing experience is pretty good, whether you're using the default browser or the Google Chrome browser or another. We've got pinch to zoom works just nice. Keyboard works pretty well. Multitasking works nicely. And take a quick look in the settings here and you can see in the about tablet section that we are running Android 4.1.1 now what doesn't work so well is video, audio, multimedia basically so here we are taking a look at some videos on YouTube and even standard definition video doesn't seem to want to play. If we go into Netflix, the application loads, but when you try to actually watch a video, And you can see, well, it's behaving a little bit slowly right now, but the volume is up all the way, but nothing's really happening. We don't have any video playback, we don't have any audio playback. Same thing goes for Google Play Music. We can go in here, pick an album, try to play it. but nothing's happening, despite the fact that we clearly have an internet connection. Um, so if you want to use it for web browsing, for uh, playing some games, you should have a decent experience. as long as it's not a game that requires 3D graphics acceleration. But if you wanted to use it for much of anything else, you might want to wait until a more stable build is available. So, simple gaming, web browsing, reading books, and so forth, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean is pretty much all ready to go. But if you want to do anything more than that, you might want to wait a little while. Uh, still, it's pretty impressive to see that this tablet, which HP has pretty much discontinued, <laughs> is still functioning and still running newer and newer versions of the Android operating system uh, rather than WebOS, uh, especially given that HP has announced that its new open source version of WebOS, called Open WebOS, is not going to officially support the HP touchpad. Uh, that said, Android never officially supported the HP touchpad because HP never really made all the drivers and everything available. So, you know, the fact that developers have been able to get Android 2.3, Android 4.0, Android 4.1 running on this device uh, gives some hope that perhaps future versions of WebOS will run on it as well. But the, the main thing is, even though the device is about a year old, uh, with a dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, 9.7-inch, 1024x768 uh, pixel display, and 1 gig of RAM, it's still a pretty functional device, and you can still find uh, plenty of them online for under $200 if you look on eBay or Amazon or some other places. And uh, the software is staying up to date. So, again, a quick look at Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. 
with a pre-release build of CyanogenMod Mod 10 on the HP touchpad. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and you can find more details at lilliputing.com.